Hey everybody, Alex Kazora from SteelersDepot.com doing our weekly Talk to the Tape. Uh, we'll probably have a couple more of these uh, either later this week or next week with the Steelers on a buy during Wild Card Weekend. Uh, so lots of things we can go over. If you have suggestions for what you want to look at, uh, either from the Week 17 Browns game or throughout uh, the entire regular season, uh, leave a comment below uh, and let me know what uh, you guys would like to see. What we're gonna do, going to do today is a brief video just kind of getting to know Steven Ridley. Uh, he's been signed since Texans game. I uh, was the number two backup, uh, first and second down back. Uh, if, if Bell was not available, as was the case against the uh, Browns, and you know getting a lot of the work in the blowout uh, win <coughs> Excuse me, over the Houston Texans. Uh, so we're just going to watch him a little bit, go through like four plays here, because uh, I've been impressed. So let's get into the first play. I don't want to uh, delay too much. This is against uh, Houston. Um, and he's been impressive. You know, Connor went down, and I think as a pure runner, I think Ridley's done a nice job being able to fill in. Um, already jumped over to Saunton right away. Going to get a lead strong play here. Uh, kind of gets busted a little bit. You're going to try to hit the uh, A gap to the weak side here, the weak A gap. And you end up getting uh, two guys on the same uh, end here. Linebackers are free. Uh, Filer doesn't get off in time. So Nick ends up going to the same guy as well. Actually, Nick's probably should have taken... Uh, the, <coughs> excuse me, Mike linebacker right here, but it was a bit of miscommunication. So Ridley sees it, jump cut to the opposite gap, he runs through the DB a little bit and gets four. Uh, that's not the most spectacular play, obviously, but your saving probably would have been uh, a no-gainer in turning in the four. Um, a nice jump cut, you see some of that explosion, some of that lateral mobility that Ridley has, and obviously the Texans game was just signed uh, a couple days prior. Uh, earlier that week when Connor went on IR, I believe on that Tuesday, um, and they ended up playing on, what was this, Monday, Christmas Day. Um, so a guy that, you know, trying to get his legs back, and you see some of that baseline um, explosion and, and lateral mobility and making the read as well, realizing the, the linebacker's free, uh, played it and developed the way that it should, and you try to get something out of it, a nice kind of strong finish. Takes a couple of guys to bring him down. It's a nice gain of four. All right, let's get into the uh, Cleveland game now, week 17. Uh, a great start in this one. Steelers really ran all over the Browns early. Another lead play, a little counter action. And I just like Ridley pressing the linebacker here. It's one of these guys, I forget which. The linebacker here. Like he's going to come to the outside uh, and run off uh, the hip of, I think it's uh, Foster or Villanueva. Starts to come out, linebacker holds. And then you're just going to follow the fullback up the middle. Kind of get skinny through the hole, run through the tackle. And I think he picks up a nice chunk of 13 here. Again, it's well blocked. You can see a lot of these plays. Uh, there's definitely good blocking. But I like Ridley just reading it, hitting the hole hard. Um, and showing some of the athleticism and some of the burst that he has. So the down block here, the double team. Come inside, run off your fullback, finish it strong. Look from the aerial view one time. So a good start. Uh, I think it was his first carry of the game against Cleveland. All right, next one we're going to look at. His longest run of the game against the Browns, 21 yards. His old 22 double counter action to the left. And I'm going to keep running this thing full speed because you want to be able to see this uh, in real time and not be stopping and starting. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just the patience to let the blocks develop, slow up a little bit. Once Fowler gets the kick out, Nick's following uh, through to the next color. Then Ridley hits full speed and gets through the hole. So again, well blocked. Good job by Vance on the front side. Uh, Fowler with the kick out. Nick's following through. But you just see you know, Ridley kind of being patient, letting the block develop. He's not hitting it full speed right here. Kind of slowing up, letting it read, and then right there he's hitting at full speed. Gets away from Schober, the linebacker, and I think that's Peppers that finally knocks him out of bounds after a 21-yard gain. So, you know, that's a little bit of chemistry. That's a little bit of reading. Uh, a veteran guy is going to have that because he's been there, done it before. But it's also nice to see him kind of be able to hit, get this stuff immediately with a new team, not being in the league too much. Uh, was in camp with the Broncos, spent, I think, a week with Minnesota in October. Um so he's, that stuff's just kind of instinctual. Why are you bring in a veteran over a guy like Terrell Watson? He might not have that innate feel. 
Yeah, and like it just well blocked and, and well ran by Ridley. We'll look at it one more time. Again, good block on the front side. Because on that 22 double, it's got to be blocked on the front side well uh, as well. You can't allow penetration here, otherwise the play is going to get bust. The guard's going to have to take a wider path. It's going to get slowed up. Backsides are going to get there. Guys are going to be able to flow and fill. Uh, so again, well blocked, you know, uh, but really did his job as well. All right, and then the last one uh, later in the Cleveland game. This one, uh, I think, sealed it. Yeah, 28-24, second and nine, minute left, or a minute 42 left. I'm going to get this G leap play where they're going to pull the front side guard, Matt Filer. Filer's going to pull. A down block up uh, by Jesse James here. Filer kicks out first color. I think the safety there, or the, uh, should be the nickel corner. It's Curry. Not sure why the in nickel, but those are the Browns. Unless he came in at left corner. But either way, kick out the corner. And again, just patience by Ridley, waiting for the block to develop. Once Father gets that kick out, he's going to hit full speed, and he's got the speed to win the edge. Um, you know, obviously, one of the few flaws with Le'Veon Bell um, is a lack of speed. Sometimes it can be tough for him to get the edge. Um, obviously, in the open field, he's not going to run away from too many guys. I thought James Conner showed a little bit of that. Um, you know, being able to hit the edge, uh, fresh leg certainly helps. But, um, you know, you want to get that speed element that doesn't really exist on the roster right now with Dusan and, and, and Bell. Um, I thought Ridley had the speed to get the corner there, nearly turn it, and causes the horse collar tackle uh, for the guy to get him down. So again, well blocked. Got to give credit to Filer. I thought Filer had a really nice game. Probably do a video on him as well, unless Matthew Marks is going to uh, do a written article on him. Uh, but, you know, just, just Making the play, letting the block develop. Once it hits, they will outrun uh, the DBs, get to the sideline, get a field, 15-yard gain, the 15-yard penalty, and then the victory. So uh, I just want to show that on Ridley. I've been impressed with him so far. Um, you know, he's not doing a whole lot on, on third down. You know, Toussaint's kind of taking care of that, which is a smart way to do it. Um, if for any reason Bell wouldn't be available, you know, I think Ridley's the good early down guy. Dusan's going to be fine on third down because his pass protection is a little bit stronger. But I like what, you know, Ridley's been able to bring both his, with his vision, acceleration, uh, speed in the open field, and just, you know, being smart. You know, not trying to make, do too much. And as long as he takes care of the football, that's probably the biggest concern with him. Um, he's had in his career some of the fumbles, had the near fumble against Cleveland and got overturned. But if he takes care of the football, um, I think the Steelers have a good one. And, and certainly a guy that can, you know, spell Bell for the couple of plays. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that he's going to sit out for the playoffs because he'll still get, you know, 90, 90, 95% of the carries and snaps. But uh, if he's unavailable for whatever reason, I think really is a pretty competent guy. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, let me know your comments below, whether you're watching on YouTube, Steelers Depot, follow me on Twitter at Alice underscore Kazor. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.